<laughs> our next, I was going to say, our next meal is, <laughs> <laughs> our next experiment is, yes. it's the Cook's Essentials Stainless Steel Grill Contact Grill and Panini Maker. Let me say that one more time because I'm so distracted by the sizzle that I hear. <laughs> it's Cook's Essentials Stainless Steel Contact Grill and Panini Maker. It's a clearance price of $31.44. It's 60% savings off the regular QVC price. Three easy payments of $10.48. Here's what you're getting. You're getting the contact grill and panini maker with the removable grill plates and the drip tray. It's got power. It's got floating adjustable hinges. I'm not going to talk about that. My super powered guest, Kara, is going to talk about all this stuff that's amazing. She's going to get some tongs. I'm going to try not to eat so that Brian can save me from being in the hospital for the weekend before <laughs> I have to come back on Monday. I love you for that, bro. But all this food looks amazing. I'm going to be quiet and let you go. Go. <laughs> well, so, okay. Panini Maker, right? Is it's, mm -hmm. it's original uh, format. So we've got the grill plates on either side. It does have a floating hinge, so you're going to be able to adjust that here. And I have a cool one down there, and we'll go over all, all the features on it. But whether you are doing something nice and thick, like this tomato sandwich on ciabatta bread with fresh mozzarella and basil pesto, we'll get this right all off of here. You're just going to get that nice press to it, that delicious melty cheese, right, yes. that we all know and love. And this is our black color, yes, which is amazing. And next to it is the red, and we'll see that in a moment. But Ooh, we look at the, that cheese. The cheese. Ooh, <laughs> look at that cheese. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's stringy. Look at you. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's perfect. It's perfect. So you're also going to get your little cleaning tool, though, so you're able to just easily get this stuff right out of all these grates so you don't have to worry about it. So you're calling that a cleaning tool, Kara? That's a fork to me. It's a fork. Oh, you that, could, that, you know, that, you that's could. my fork that I'm going to eat the cheese. You're going to eat the melted cheese off of? Yes, yes, you could do that too. Do and look how easily it cleans. It you cleans right that. off. Yeah, absolutely. And there is a little drip tray in the back. And again, I'm going to use the, the cold one to, to show you absolutely. all about that. But you can also then lay it out flat like this. So okay. if you do not have access to an outdoor grill or you don't have outdoor space, you can use this as an indoor grill. Okay. Right? So we've got yeah. shrimp kebabs on here. These are looking lovely. We've got sausage and peppers on this side. And all you did was just unfold it you all the way. Just lay it flat, and you're going to have a whole open face grill that you are able to use. And the nice part about this is because it's that grill plate, if you're doing something like your peppers and onions thin mm -hmm. sliced like this, there's no grates for them to fall through. So you're still going to get that grilled flavor, that smokiness that we like, but on something yeah, indoors. Yeah, exactly, right. It smells really good. Yeah, it does. So you have a lot of options with this machine. And you, down here we have burgers. So if we're walking through the types of food you can make, obviously it's not just for paninis. It's not just for paninis. You have uh, so many options. So again, I love to use, I probably use it open face like this more often than not because I like to do the indoor grilling. I don't necessarily have outdoor access where I have the ability to grill something. Okay. So if you're in an apartment, if you're in a town home, if you're on the third floor, Grab one of these because it's just it's so much easier to get that grill, especially over the summer. But any time of year that you want to grill something or have those marks on something, any of that. So we just did our burgers here. We did some turkey burgers and however you wanted to uh, to serve them up. So we've got all the accoutrements out there. But you can see because you're going to get that double contact. Yeah, these are going to grill up really nicely. They're going to grill up in half the time because they're being cooked from either side as well. So something else to think about. So this is the one we left this one turned off so I can show you guys. OK, so to take the plates off, you just hit that button on That's either up. side. The plates are going to remove just like that. You're just going to wash these with warm soapy water. Okay, and then if you're liking the red. There's only 300 left, by the way. Oh, wow. And then, oops, I can't do it from this angle. It lines up. There's two little pieces gotcha. there that it lines up with. Okay. It should, there it goes. There Snap go. back into place. Delay it flat on this. Actually, I'll do your, your thing. So delay it flat. You're um, going to push this button in, and it'll lay out flat for you. And then to adjust the hinge, you're just going to slide this. So that'll be our most open, and all the way up is going to be your most closed. Super simple. Super, super simple. And so I could also take these plates off you can, to clean. Yeah, you take the plates off to clean. And then in the back of it is where you're going to have your drip tray. So the way I was scraping the cheese on the mm -hmm. first one, you would just kind of leave this out. When this is open, you can see you can uh, just scrape right down and into there. And then this whole piece comes out and is washable as well. 
Can I tell you a, a feature that I really love about this? With other grills that I've had and that, that my mom have had, the, uh, I'm not gonna say what they are, but they were traditional grills like this yeah. that you open up. You always had to be aware of it slamming shut yes. on your fingers. And then that grease collection thing, it was just like a little tray that could slide around or you could knock over. Yes, and you it wasn't hope attached. You everything. Yeah, exactly. Yep. It wasn't attached. So these are not at an angle. This is a flat surface, it's level, um, which I happen to like because you do get your cooking grease and oil, but the plates have this little spout on either end. So that's why I say you can actually just slide the drip tray out from the base and it goes right there and use the tool and just yep slide it right into those oh, little spouts I see okay and that's gonna get it right into that tray for you to easily clean up and again the plates are really simple to clean because they are non-stick mm -hmm. so just warm soapy water quick wipe in the sink and they clean up really nicely wow so if you just joined us and you haven't eaten lunch you are in trouble <laughs> like I am <laughs> this is the Cook's Essentials Stainless Steel Contact Grill and Panini Maker. It's a clearance price of $31.44 or five easy payments, excuse me, three easy payments of $10.48. You can spend easily $35 at a restaurant just on burgers and, and one meal. Absolutely. And this is amazing. I want to go over our colors in case you missed that earlier. This is our black. And down here, all the good stuff is, it's <laughs> red. Only 250 remaining in the red. And Kara, you, you brought up something. You said you don't necessarily have to have a backyard to have a grill. Yeah. I think there's something special about seeing that burger that was on this grill here and just seeing those grill marks. Those grill marks, it right? It changes everything. There's it looks, like a nostalgia to it that's almost. That's exactly it's it, really, yeah. It's like you want to see that on your food. I, I, I want to see it on my burgers. Um, even my hot dogs, I like a well-done hot dog. I want to see it. The have little that, diagonals that are on the there. The little yeah. marks on there, or yeah. uh, even you know breads and things like that. I want to know that it you know it hit that grill, that it was nice and crispy, that it's going to have that marking on it. Right. So for recipes, what can I do for recipes? Where should I go for recipes? <laughs> Panini recipes Panini or recipes. grill recipes? Do you I, know anyone that I, might know anyone? I I'm might. For I might friend. know someone. Yeah. No. Okay. But again, like we said, I uh, my website is always a good resource, but I always recommend that folks. Just you know, search. What, what is that website? I'm, that would be I'm so forgetful. Caradefalco.com. Oh, oh yes. wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, absolutely. And I've got over 300 recipes up there for different things, each with its own step by step video. Um, so, again, you're always going to be able to find lots of inspiration there. But I think the thing, and the, the reason I love cooking and cooking at home, and the thing I always encourage folks to do is take whatever recipe you find and then make it your own. You know mm. what? You, you don't like shrimp or someone has a seafood allergy, put, make it chicken skewers. You know, That's great. you um, you know you you can eat uh, bread because you're doing gluten free. Buy uh, platano um, plantains. ¿Qué es plátano? Uh, yeah, <laughs> green plantains. Es sí. oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, if you don't, but the, but you have so many options. So I love to encourage folks to to quite literally play with their food. You know, and when you are having these great appliances in your home that are simple and easy to use it just makes it easier to be like oh you know what let me try that because i have this machine and it's going to make it easier and even if i mess it up okay so what you know we try again gotcha i love that <laughs> so listen this is the panini maker it's a, a clearance price of 31 dollars 44 cents it's a savings of 60 percent three easy pays of 10 dollars and 48 cents your item number is k64872 I'm here with Kara DeFalco. So Kara, I have to ask you yes. about paninis. Yes. I'm new in the kitchen. Okay. I'm not necessarily the most competent person in the kitchen. <laughs> if I want to make a panini and I order this and I bring this to my home, how does it work? Okay. Paninis are super, uh, so one, un panino. Sound un panino. Un okay. panino, okay. Claro que si, okay. <laughs> um, and again, it really is whatever you want. This is probably one of my favorites. So I'm a, you guys know, I'm a Jersey girl, born and bred. There is nothing better than a Jersey tomato, okay? Really? Jersey tomatoes, Rutgers University invented them. If you can find one, get one. Slice thick, a little fresh mozzarella, a little fresh basil, um, maybe some basil pesto or even just some olive oil, and good bread, semolina bread, focaccia bread, nice bread. And just put it right on that machine. Just let it get warmed up so it's crispy. Oh, I want to do that too. Right? Wait, I have a quick question. Yeah. So is panini just like adult grilled cheese? 
Kind of, yeah. It's a pressed sandwich. It's okay. any pressed sandwich. So in Italy, they do them with all kinds of, they do them with uh, uh, oftentimes cold cuts. So like mortadellas or different types of salamis. Say that Prosciutto. one more time. Mortadella. Oh my gosh. We have to, I have to explain, <laughs> you have to see the video of Mar me explaining mortadella to yeah. Mary D'Angelo's school because okay. we, <laughs> we were literally in tears and I bought her some today. So if you oh, see wow. her, go find her. She's, well, she's going to be coming by yeah. at some point. Yeah, yeah. I think. No one knows. Okay, I know. I just told Tell her, her to bring the mortadella. Okay. Because I bought her some. Really? <laughs> yes. I will do that. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, and then you guys can make your own paninis. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Wow. Yep, just put them together okay. and press them. And do I have to, it's not like a stamp or anything. This is just, this is just the handle. I could just close it. Yep, I just, don't have to like do it like, oh, you're passing No, you stamp. don't, no. Okay. You don't have to press down hard or anything like that. Mm -hmm. This has fair uh, weight to it. Okay. And then you just adjust your temperature with the dial in the front. So it's really, really simple to use. Actually, we can show you on this one too. If you need yeah, so how does that work? A little so bit better. It, it yeah, starts... so it's got your temperatures around, so it starts, I think, low is about 250, and this can go all the way up to about 400. So Whew. you've uh, you've got quite the range on this machine. So it, it actually is an indoor grill. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So you could do whatever you want to do. You really so you can do whatever you want. just get your uncle with the cigarette. Come on, you don't know nothing about that water. Boy. Hey, boy, come away from that fire. Da, 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 da. You can do all that stuff. You, like, he's going to, you got to come over. Uncle, uncle Charlie's going to come over, everybody. <laughs> No smoke in the house, though. You can't, you can't do that. No, 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 none of that. Wow, so it's a real grill. Okay. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So there's there's a lot that can be done with this. And again, the fact that it opens up and folds flat like that, you can't beat it. Yes. That's what, to me, what makes it so versatile because uh, traditional indoor grills. Right. I just feel like it's like that clamshell. Yes. And you got to hold it with one hand and whatever you're doing, or you got to hold it back and hope if you don't move it because it'll slam shut. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if you can see this little burn. Oh, no, no, no. Here it is. I got a little burn got mark. Got a little burn mark. Right there. Little kitchen so, scar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I don't trust you. Join the club, my friend. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe how much fun we had and how much food we made. We had so much fun today. Can we you had believe that's so our much time? Fun. I cannot believe it. I, I, it went so fast. It went because so I was fast. eating misbehaving. You are fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to give you a hug. Thank Please you. Please give me all your well, recipes and yes, send them to me. Absolutely. Oh, this has been fantastic. We will see you soon. What's coming up next? I got home clearance blowouts. Don't you go anywhere. There's all this food. We got great sales coming up. Stay tuned.